you know, I think the main countries we deal with in this should be the three big powers. Um, the US, uh, Russia and China. I mean, if you want to call Russia a big power anymore. Um, Indian foreign policy was always based on the fact that we could never tolerate one big power block dominating Asia. So for us, the USSR-China uh, alliance was always a problem and we tried to do move heaven and earth to basically break up that alliance, which basically involved, you know, trying to give China its own leadership role in the Bandung conference. And Nehru tried to play that game very, very skillfully. The problem was it got lost somewhere in the uh, e execution. And ultimately, you know, China turned enemy and attacked you, despite us being one of their biggest um, uh, supporters uh, to the outside world. Russia now is the other big problem. I mean, after almost, what, 50, 60 years of a very, very close relationship, you find that Russia is again moving into Chinese orbit. In those days, the USSR used to be the dominant power. China was the junior partner. Now Russia is becoming the junior partner. China is becoming the senior partner. And understand that there's no way out of this. Uh, the problem is that the West has basically, the West should have been attempting to wean Russia away from China. Everything they're doing is just pushing Russia closer and closer to China. And they're still under the delusion that uh, this kind of works. And that in many ways explains India's hedging strategy because we still don't know what we need to do vis-a-vis -vis China, Russia coming together. America, classic example. During the Bangladesh war, they sent their fleet against us. But today, they're good friends. The problem is, we're still stuck in this historical memory of the fleet. You know, you keep hearing diplomats say, you know, there are no permanent friends in um, uh, international politics. And yet, they've never internalized the fact that the fleet being sent against you happened something like 40 years back. Uh, as one American interlocutor uh, keeps saying, you know, I'm waiting in every discussion. Every time I come to India, I wait for the seventh fleet to sail into the discussion at some point. Um, we talk a lot. We seem very profound about these things. Sadly, the execution of our foreign policy doesn't seem to indicate we understand that there are no permanent friends and there are no permanent enemies.